Well, good day, floodies and reality defenders. It's Critical Thing from Down Under. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And today we're coming to you from the Thailand studio. Today we're going to talk about there being no evidence of curvature, or that's what the floodies tell us. Now I know there's some background noise and the microphone is very sensitive. So uh, maybe I'll fix that in the future with a new microphone, but here is what we're stuck with today, so I do apologise. Now there is no evidence of curvature, except when there is. And of course, when there is, there will be all kinds of excuses from the flatties, one of which is, say, perspective, because perspective cannot make anything curved, right? So uh, they have to make up some uh, properties of perspective that don't exist. So we've been confronted with this. If the earth was curved, then I expect to see curved bridges over water. And I don't see that, therefore the earth is flat. So this is a bit of a logical fallacy. If you can't see the curvature does not mean it's not there. The expectation is a straw man because when you analyse how much curvature you're expected to see, you come up with the answer that no, you're not expected to see it when you look at a bridge just side on or from an aerial shot, just like something like this. Now this bridge here is the Ted Smout Memorial Bridge, which is uh, at Redcliffe, near where I live. And it's 2.5 kilometers long, roughly the flat section. And uh, if we analyze this picture there, we see that it's 2.5 kilometers, 1650 pixels. So that's 1.5 meter for every pixel in the picture. So if you calculate the expected curvature over 2.5 kilometers, you get 0.5 meters pretty close to that. So the total expected curvature across that whole picture is less than one pixel. So it's impossible to see any curvature in this photo. That's just a physical limitation of photography and pixels and resolution and all that. So for a flatty to expect there to be any curvature seen in that photo, that's an impossible expectation and that's a straw man for the globe. Now, I've taken a picture of this bridge side on. We often hear uh, Flatty say, oh, the side to side curve should be the same as the longitudinal curve. And so uh, they want to see a picture of a bridge that's curving. Well, the reality of it is that you, once you get a field of view wide enough, to get the whole bridge in. The bridge is so freaking small, you're not gonna see it. And uh, let's do the pixel calculation again here. But uh, first, there's a bit of a closer zoom in on that and you can hardly even see the bridge already. So the pixel calculation is, this one here is 2.5 kilometers and there's 2,535 pixels in that or about one meter for every pixel. Again, it's the same bridge, same curvature over 2.5 kilometers, which is 0.5 meters. So the total expected curvature from one end to the other is less than one pixel. And if you take the middle and then how much it dips at each end, it's even less than that. So yes, it will look flat to you, but that does not necessarily mean it is flat, but it will definitely look flat. So floodies uh, take that to mean the earth must be flat because it looks flat, which is of course a logical fallacy. Then there's the 38 kilometre Lake Pontchartrain Bridge and you get shown a picture like this and a floodie will say, see, there's no curvature there. Well, they are correct and if you do the math and as Walter Bislin has done here, you see up there it says, from this perspective, not the slightest curvature of the Earth is visible. So looking at it at this angle and at this resolution, no, you're not going to see any curvature there. 
So, but, okay, in those pictures that the flatties show us, there is no evidence of visible curvature. But can we see or measure any curvature? Well, of course we can. Yes. So, but do the flatties acknowledge this? Well, no, of course not. You already know the answer to that. So we get this all the time. Show us the curve! <laughs> then we get complete denial of all observations and facts. And then we go back to, oh, no observable or measurable curvature. And of course it's all a lie, because there is observable and measurable curvature. But in all the past seven to ten years of demanding a measure of the curvature on the surface of the Earth, not one of these people has ever actually attempted to make a measurement. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, let's attempt to make a measurement. So you remember this bridge? And you would, of course, uh, know about that photo. A very famous photo, so everybody except flat earthers know that if you want to see if something's curved or not, it's best to look along it rather than from the side. So when you look along this 38 kilometer bridge, you'll see that it's curved. And of course, they'll try to say that it's perspective. Well, perspective can't make it curved. So that bridge is 38 kilometres long and easy to see the curvature, but what about our 2.5 kilometre bridge? Well, here it is. I've taken some pictures along the length of it. And uh, I've put some lines on it. And you can see that there is some curvature there. I'll zoom that in a bit. And, right, so this here, this part here curves away there, right? So there's visible curvature there. And no, it's not perspective, because I've drawn the perspective lines in there, and perspective lines are always straight if the object is straight. If the object is curved, they will curve away from the perspective lines. So here's now some photo on top of the bridge. That was the side, this is the top. And you can already see that the um, that part looks curved to me. And then we put the perspective lines in and it's dipping away. Now I'll zoom in. Now for all of those you say, oh yes, but the bridge has a, a ramp at both ends. Yes it does, and there's the ramp. You can see with the foreshortening that the ramp is uh, quite pronounced. But there, there's this curved down there, the bridge is curved. And no, the perspective can't make it curved. The perspective lines are drawn in. Anything that's straight ends up straight, according to perspective. Anything that's curved is actually curved, unless you have uh, some crazy refraction going on. So now we go and look under the bridge. Under the bridge there's pylons there that have being constructed that looks a little bit like it's curved again so we uh, put the perspective lines in and if we zoom in you can see there's this bit of curvature so this bridge is actually curved so we say okay the flatties say if the earth was a globe this bridge would be curved okay so uh, uh, this bridge is curved so what now flatties now, if we actually try to calculate uh, the curvature here, we'll look at this. This is a measurement from this photo. Now, from this photo, I've got the focal length is 84 millimetres. And the vertical pixels on my P1000 is 3456 pixels. Now, I measured the drop. It's only 12 pixels. It's very small. Now, the P1000 sensor height is 4.55 millimetres. And that allows us then to make a calculation to work out how many degrees is the field of view of that pixel drop. So what's the angular size of the drop? And you work it out. And in that picture, that drop is 0 0.011 degrees. Now, what is our expected? 
our expected angular size of the drop. Now the drop over 2.5 kilometres is 49 centimetres, about half a metre. The angular size of 49 centimetres over 2.5 kilometres, you can work it out. It, look at that, it's 0 0.011 degrees. So the measured drop, I've measured the curvature, I've measured the drop, it matches the drop that is expected on a globe of radius 6,371 kilometres. So that tells me that that bridge is curved. The same curvature as the globe. So, what do you say about that? Flatties? <laughs> <laughs> you ask where's the curvature? There it is. So here's a plug for my fundraiser again. A lot of people have generously donated already. Anyone who'd like to support me going to Antarctica for the final experiment. Yes, I'm going and I do need your help. So any help is greatly appreciated. Thanks very much.